Aloha everyone and welcome to Maui Craft Kitchen's highly anticipated pizza dough episode where I'm going to show you exactly how I make my six flour pizza dough completely from scratch so that you can make pizzas like this in the comfort of your own home. Be sure to hit that like button and click subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Now let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. All right. Let's give a hand to Rod, our camera guy. He's holding the camera so that we don't have to. No? Nobody? Well, I appreciate you, Rod. Anyway, back to the pizza dough. You're gonna wanna start off with 235 grams of ice cold water. It's very important that this water is ice cold because we're going to be going through a very long mixing process and you don't want that dough to begin to proof during that mixing process. To this ice cold water, we're going to add three and a half grams of instant yeast, 340 grams of our flour mix, attach our dough hook. You can do this without a mixer at home, but you're going to be mixing for a very long time, like 30 to 40 minutes. But by all means, go right ahead. Just try to keep it cold. We're going to turn this on low speed and we're going to let the water just start to incorporate with the flour before we start to add 10 grams of Himalayan salt and 25 grams of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to turn the mixer up to medium speed, four on my mixer. And we're going to let it mix just like this for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes of mixing, you should be left with something that looks just like this. I had to turn some of the higher lighting down so that you could see this ball of dough a little bit better. Now we're going to leave this on the counter with some plastic wrap over it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to shape this up a little bit so we can pop it into the fridge for 48 hours before dividing and shaping for a final time so that it has a chance to develop flavor and a stronger gluten network. To do that, get your hands lightly wet. Helps prevent the dough from sticking to them. Go under the dough. You're going to lift it up and just kind of fold it back under itself. Lift it up, fold it under itself. Lift it up, fold it under itself and just keep rotating the dough ball. You might have to reapply some water until it stops sticking to the bowl and just keep rotating it just like that, holding the tension, tucking it under itself, going around the bowl until you end up with a ball that looks similar to this one. Then you're going to take this ball and put it into a lightly oiled bowl. Cover this with plastic wrap and pop it in the fridge for 48 hours. After 48 hours in the fridge, we're gonna turn this out onto a floured work surface, divide it into two 300 gram portions and get ready for some shaping. Just work it out of the bowl Cut it in half, or however you think is half. Pretty close. Perfect. A little more flour. Now, we're going to fold this right into itself. And I'm just folding that under, folding that under degassing it as we go. Fold, see how it still has a tail? I'm folding that slowly, I'm like a conveyor belt, pulling it into itself, just like this. Until that tail disappears. And then we're just tucking everything right up into it. Squeeze it just like that. Make sure you get rid of any hole left. That will make a weak spot in the middle of your dough if you don't seal this. Just 
set that one aside. Same thing with this one. Flower it. Show you from this angle. Just fold that right into the center. Keeping the tension on this side. Close it up. Grab your proofing box. If you don't have a proofing box, that's okay. Just use a Tupperware that gives it enough room to expand. Lightly flour your dough balls. Lightly flour your proofing box or Tupperware. Put them right in just like that with some room to expand. Cover them and let these proof for three to five hours, depending on the temperature in your home. And that is it, guys. You did it. You made pizza dough all by yourself. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Be sure to tune in next week when I'm going to show you how to make my simple but delicious pizza sauce. As always, I can't thank you guys enough for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.